guys, it's Tana Mojo, and today's video is going to be a rather silly story time, if you will, but I was telling it the other day in the car, and I was like dying fucking laughing at the story, like tears rolling down my face, because it's just so silly, and it's like the epitome of me as a stupid fucking stupid fucking stupid fucking stupid child and yeah I was just dying and whenever I like die laughing at a story I want to share it with you guys because you guys are like my fucking family I want you to laugh too yeah so I'm sorry that I look so bad today by the way I just kind of hopped on camera because I missed you and I really wanted to film anyway so yeah I didn't really have time to like make this on fleek but my lips are true brown um Kylie lip kit which an amazing subscriber gave to me I literally cried I like wouldn't accept it she had to give it to my boyfriend and he had to like shove it in my purse and I was like screaming and <laughs> it was doing the most but yeah I just put it on and I feel like I look like I ate ass but I I'm trying to be trendy okay <laughs> okay so this story I'll give you a little bit of backstory before I get into it um I've had my ears pierced just like my name my like one earlobe pierced like four times because the first time I got a pierced was in second grade and my parents were not those parents that like got my ears pierced as a baby and like took care of it because like they just like didn't believe in that they thought ear piercing was something that would happen when you were like older you know what I mean so in second grade I like pressured my parents every single day and begged them to get it and they were like no you have to wait till you're in fifth grade sixth grade like you're not old enough you're not gonna take care of them blah 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 and I pestered them for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and finally they gave in and they were like you can get your ears pierced like when you like graduate second grade so my second grade graduation came around I got my ears pierced and three weeks later they got infected because Tana can't fucking take care of anything let alone her own being and yeah my parents were right they were like never again you have to wait till you're older sorry and they stayed out for a while and I got them pierced again in fifth grade right before school started like over the summer as like a birthday present and I was so excited and I had those for about a month or two and they got infected and I had to take them out again and then at this point my parents were like okay on your 16th birthday you can have your ears pierced blah 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 like that's it like sorry we're done we've tried twice like you're an incompetent piece of shit Tana so you can't have your ears pierced again so I'm like whatever I'm living life I don't give a fuck honestly like I'm like okay I'll just wait till I'm older and then eighth grade rolls around and when I was in eighth grade it was like so fucking trendy for no reason just like so fucking trendy for girls to wear like big like feather earrings or like dangly earrings or like hoops or just like big ass earrings with like scarves so yeah like if you did not have your earrings fucking in and your scarf motherfucking on you were not a trendy bitch and we all know clearly with my eating ass lipstick that I currently have on right now like Tana is a fucking trendy ass bitch who feels the need to be trendy and I, I don't know why but like I've just always been like that I don't know and it's not only that I'm like a follower it's that I like obsess over current trends like I, I find that like it's something I enjoy doing you know what I mean like following the current trends and like doing my own twist on them and stuff like that that's just how I've always been so yeah I decided that I needed my fucking ears pierced and I begged my mom and dad to let me get them for like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and I try I called every year place trying to find a place that would like let me do it without an ID or like without a parent like I couldn't find one like I tried to find like friends with piercing guns like I couldn't do it like I couldn't find a way to do it behind my parents back and my parents literally were so determined to like not let me because they're like we're not gonna go through this again and now that I look back I totally see why I am just so bad at things like that it's so bad like when I got my belly button pierced I was so like they had to remind me every day twice a day to clean it so I didn't like die of fucking like intestine infection like I just I don't even know I'm that kind of person I suck at taking care of things it's absolutely terrible and disgusting but yeah so they were saying no and I was like okay fine you know what fuck you I'm gonna pierce my own god blessed ears and this is like where I went fucking wrong like Tana you really needed to be so trendy that you decided you were gonna shove a needle through your own fucking ear like are you good so I get on those websites like eHow like how to like websites you know what I'm talking about right like if you google how to pierce your ears like wiki how it'll be like the first one like on the screen so I start watching YouTube videos I start watching like or reading like wiki how articles and all the shit and every single one is like get a piercing needle like you need a hollow needle like don't do this if you're under 18 like all this shit I just I just read all that and kind of was like like I disregarded everything that every single website was like telling me to do do you get what I'm saying like every single fucking one so I decide you know what fuck the police fuck the feds I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I want so I go upstairs to my house and I find a sewing needle 
and I get the sewing needle. I go back downstairs, I get, I get some ice, I get an apple, because I, I really thought an apple was like what I needed, you know what I mean? I get some rubbing alcohol, I pour that in a jar, and I go upstairs to my bathroom, and I get my little cup of rubbing alcohol, I get my cup of ice, I have my needle, and I have an apple. And so I dip, I'm psychotic. <laughs> Like, I'm fucking so psychotic. Oh my god. So I dip this needle in rubbing alcohol, and I hold this apple, like this fucking fruit, like this slice of a fucking apple. Like, Adam and Eve motherfucking picked that bitch off a tree apple. Like, are you good, Tana? Like, are you fucking good? And I hold it to the back of my ear. And so I take, like, I think I took a Sharpie before and, like, dotted where I wanted it. I'm not sure. I still have this ear piercing to, to this day, by the way. But, um, <laughs> so I hold it to my ear. And I go, I, like, I kid you not, I'm staring in the mirror, like, contemplating my whole life, debating if I really want to do this. And I go, one, two, three. <laughs> and it hurts so bad. No one was, like, home in this moment. By the way, I waited till I was home alone. It hurts so bad. My ear's gushing blood, but I'm like, whatever. Like, halfway through it, like, let's fucking go. I take my earring, I dip it in rubbing alcohol, I pull the needle all the way through. Keep in mind that this is a sewing needle with, like, an eye. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, like, gauging my ear right now. Like, are you fucking good? So I shove the earring through, I put the back on it, rubbing alcohol, whatever. I do the other ear the same way, you know, put it there, dot it. One, two, three. <laughs> like, fucking caught it, Tana. And I'm like, okay, so it's, it's gushing blood. Like, blood is, like, down my neck. It's, like, scabbing. It's on my hands, like, <sighs> heavy metal, Tana. So I fucking shove the other earring through. And then I clean it up, and I look at it, and I'm like, this is cute. Now, you guys didn't think that this was gonna be the whole story, right? Like, I'm not running out of ideas. Like, it gets juicy, okay? So I look at it, and I'm like, this is cute. Like, this is really cute. And, like, this was also the time where it was, like, trendy for girls to have their whole ear, like, pierced up their whole ear. You see where the story's going, don't you? Okay. So I look at my ear, and I'm like, I want, I want more, bitch. Like, why stop at one? Like, we're here, you know what I mean? So I dot the little dot for my second hole, which I still have to this day. And I take my little apple core. I got a new apple core, though. Don't worry. Like, I, I'm not trash. Okay, apple slice, not core. And so I dot my ear where I want it. I look at it. I dip my needle in rubbing alcohol. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> and so this one doesn't go all the way through. It like pops like the way cartilage does. And I hear like a noise. And I'm like, that can't be good. Now this is where most people are like, that's probably a sign that I'm doing something wrong. Not Tana. I shove it through my fucking ear and it's like excruciating. I'm crying. My eyes are like tearing. It's bleeding. It's bleeding profusely. I take it all the way through. Gauge my ear. Put the earring in. Clean it up. Do it to the other side. One, two, three. Pop, pop, blood, blood, earring. Clean it up. I like this. Now this is where any fucking normal human being with a normal fucking brain, normal brain, like your brain thinks normally, you have a normal thought process, you have a normal conscience, you know right from wrong, you know when to stop, like no. Tana is a compulsive ass, or impulsive ass, not compulsive. Impulsive ass, motherfucking do whatever the fuck I want. If I want one, I want 10 ass, bitch. And I'm like, I think my dog just shit. That's disgusting living. I'm back. Okay, so I decide in this moment that I want a third piercing because that's a thing right now and I don't fucking fuck the police. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't stop. You know what I mean? So I do the same little procedure again. You know, I get my apple, I get my needle. Like, you really, I was in excruciating pain at this point. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like crying. My ears are bleeding. I'm like shaking. My whole ear is so red. It hurts so bad. So I go to grab the third fucking hole and I dot it and I get my little needle and I go one, two, three. And this time the popping noise where it wouldn't go through is like even worse. Do you get what I'm saying? Like it literally like won't, like it's even worse. So I'm sitting there with all my force trying to shove this through my ear and it literally won't. And I'm like, okay, but you can't stop now. Like you could stop now if you were a normal human being, but you already snuck it through. So you might as well get it all the way through. So I go like as hard as I can and just like slam on the bottom of the needle to where it goes through my ear. And I'm like screaming, crying. Like I'm literally screaming, like rocking back and forth. It hurts so bad. But I pull it through, put my earring in and do the same thing. Now after this point, I'm starting to get like dizzy because of pain, do you get what I'm saying? Like I'm starting to get like a little bit woozy and I'm like, I don't know if I should continue, like this really fucking hurts, blah, blah, blah. But then I look at my ear and I'm like, wow, Tana, like this is really a beautiful thing that you've done here. Like this is, it looks great. Like you should be a piercer. Like this is so beautiful, you know what I mean? So I, I clean it all up with rubbing alcohol. I'm like, bitch, you know what? I want a cartilage piercing and this is where I went so wrong, 
like so wrong like like so, to this day I'm like bitch you're a fucking stupid cunt like what is like why like why would you do that to yourself but I'm like whatever so I get my ear I clean it out I clean my needle I have an earring ready you know what I mean I dot it whatever and I didn't know that with cartilage piercings that that popping thing is your cartilage breaking and that like it's gonna pop hella and it's gonna bleed hella and it's gonna hurt hella that's why they use piercing guns so it can go through it like boom like that super fast you're done like you're good it hurt but it went by so fast and the earrings already in there that it's not like excruciating pain you know what I mean but when you're piercing it at home with a needle you have to shove it through like pop 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 and it hurts so bad so I grabbed this needle like and I'm holding my ear, I've got my apple like behind it, you know what I mean? And I'm like, one, two, three. And I shove it through and it's the loudest pop. It's like, like loud as fuck, like right in your ear and you're like, ow. And I'm like, fuck, okay, it's like barely through. So I go again and at this point I'm shaking, I'm crying, my ear is gushing blood, I'm in so much pain, but I'm like, you know what, Tana, like we're, we're two pops through, you know what I mean? So I go, boom, pop, and now I have one more left. And at this point I'm in so much pain, I want to give up so badly, but I'm like, bitch, like a cartilage piercing, it's so trendy, like this isn't going to get infected or anything. So I go like this, like this, at this point it's not able to just like shove through like with your finger, like your, it won't work. So I take my hand and I'm holding the apple and I just go on top of the needle and I go like bang, so the needle just like shoves through my whole ear. I scream at the top of my lungs, like I'm genuinely surprised my neighbors literally did not call the cops, like what do you mean, like what do you mean, like literally murder, like literally Dexter, like why, why am I screaming, like why? So I shove the fucking piercing through and it's gushing blood. And now this one didn't stop bleeding. It literally probably bled for like six hours. Like I'm not even kidding you. Just like dripping blood. Like dripping blood for six hours. Like rock the fuck on. Heavy fucking metal as fuck. Like Paramore in 2006. Like that was me. So I'm like I got my ears pierced. I clean them all out. Whatever. I think I'm Gucci. You know. I go to sleep. And I wake up the next morning and my whole ear is just like scabbed in blood. Like living. But I clean it off and I go to school. I wear my hair like down like this. And then I get to school and I throw it up in a ponytail. And I'm like, look at all my earrings. Like, oh my god. And all my friends are like, it's so cute. Like, where did you go? Like, where did you get your stem? Like, I want a cartilage piercing. And I decide that not only am I going to pierce my own ears, I'm going to pierce other people's. So I start telling them, no, I did it myself. I'm like, great. Like, I, I know everything about it. I'm like certified. Blah, blah, blah. Like, no, I, like, I can pierce your own ear. Like, don't, like, don't worry. Like, I can pierce your ear. Like, it's cool. And they're like, really? Like, no way. So I start making, like, appointments, like, in my little fucking iPhone 3G for people to come to my house when my parents aren't home and to pierce their ear. Okay? I make, like, ten appointments, like, with my little, all my little friends. You know what I mean? Like, in eighth grade. And so over the course of the next five days, my ear starts like, especially the cartilage piercing and the third holes, start swelling like immensely. And they start getting so big that I can't sleep on them. You know what I mean? And I'm in like excruciating pain all the time. And obviously that means your ear is infected. So I tell my mom finally, I'm like, hey, I need to talk to you. And she's like, okay, what's up? And I'm like, I pierced one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes in my ear. <laughs> Seven. Like how many holes did you pierce in your antenna? Seven. Like how fucking many? Like not one, not two. Seven holes with a needle through my ear. I've never seen my mom so mad. She's raging. She calls my dad. My dad comes home. They're screaming at me. They're like, you could die from this. Blah, blah, blah. Which parents are so melodramatic, girl. I'm, I'm living. Look at me now. I got two of these piercings left. Like I said, I managed to salvage four of the seven. Like that's pretty cool. So <laughs> I have to go to the urgent care and I have to take out, um, I take out all of them. Like they make me take out all the piercings. I get like a solution. I'm on antibiotics. The infection was so bad. I had to get on antibiotics. I take the antibiotics and about five days later, I sneak back in the first and second and holes, you know what I mean? They have no idea. And now I'm like, okay, whatever, you're right, Tana. That was a stupid decision. Shouldn't have pierced my third hole, shouldn't have pierced my cartilage. But all my friends are counting on me to pierce their ears. This is where any normal human being would cancel the appointments and come clean about their not so good piercing skills. But no. I start having my friends over one by one while my parents are gone and piercing their ears. And I was piercing cartilages, I was piercing their fucking third holes, I was piercing like all six of their holes, I was doing all seven piercings like I had, I was doing any form of cartilage like wherever they wanted it, you know what I mean? Like making these people leave my house gushing blood, like not even kidding you. So then over the next week or so, all my friends piercings start getting infected and they have to like tell their parents, go to the doctor, all this shit. shit. And I lost like five friends from this in eighth grade, like 100%. I lost like five friends, like not even kidding you. Like, I lost five of my friends because I thought I could pierce theirs and they got infected and they got grounded and I, I didn't go to their house anymore. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's the time that I pierced seven holes in my ear like a fucking psychopath, psychomaniac, crazy bitch. Decided that I was going to wear them all and just be hella chill. 
went to the doctor, got them all infected, had to take antibiotics, and then thought I could become a professional piercer on like 10 plus girls, got them all infected, and lost about five friends. So, I'm honestly so crazy that it's like alarming. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this rather tame story time. I feel like it's tame compared to most ones because they're all like, this is the time I died, this is the time I had a stalker, you know what I mean? But to a normal person, this is still like, Tana, you're fucking psychotic as fuck, like are you fucking okay? So yeah, if you guys enjoy story times like this, make sure to subscribe, check out all my social media below. Thank you so much for getting me verified on Twitter. I feel like a fucking G, even though I'm a piece of shit who doesn't deserve that. But I love you guys so, 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 so much. I'm so appreciative of you. Thank you so much for 700 fucking K. Like, that's unreal. I can't wait to do a giveaway very soon again because you guys are insane. I literally hit 500 K like a month and a half ago. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And I will be the same Tana that I was at 1K even now. I'm never going to be a sponsored ass, sell out ass bitch because I love you a lot and you're my best friend and my family forever. Yeah, I'm going to shut up now. I just wanted to show you guys some love because I never want to stop doing that. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.